you know, I was a resident DJ uh, in a small club that was not so famous. Just drop, drop, drop more music, a lot of music. You gotta really feed the fans. Try to listen to every single advice. Just go outside and do your shit. I come party with the people. I come to have a good time and to share happiness with people. And that's, that's my goal, really. And that's why I'm still doing it. Traveling is the way to, as I said, to meeting new people, see different cultures, maybe listen to a classic local song and be inspiring and doing something new. Like, I want to take care of my family. Yeah, since I was a kid, I always wanted to be an artist. Like, I just heard music all the time in every household that I was in. So if the crowd is energetic, it gives me the energy to keep going as well. I can't lie, in school, I wanted to be a football player, but like, <laughs> the way music just came and take over my life, it was, it was mad. But like, I definitely went through a lot of things and um, it just allowed me to get emotional in the studio. I get inspired of like, almost everything that just feels good. Here we are, uh, our culture is unique. There it is, listen to it, it's beautiful. Yeah. So, and it's, uh, it's very motivating for us because it's like a, you know, cultural statement. A lot of my, like my ability to do this for a living is, is a result of kind of influence from overseas. Ed Sheeran's cold. I want to work with him one day. Funkadelic stuff, uh, Willie Hutch, uh, Lamont Dozier, like a lot of people don't really know that, like my friends and stuff. So when I play music, they're like, man, you like a granddad or something. Maybe, maybe the Finnish hip hop groups and artists who, when, when we were like teenagers, the stuff that we grew up listening to and, and uh, tried to take all the best things from there. I started listening to uh, Cypress Hill when I was 11 years old. And it was some, something that uh, resonated with my uh, inner soul. Chiro Bottom, all those bands, they are a um, huge, huge deal and um, they made a really great job for Finnish music exports back in 2000. So, all those bands, yeah. Two people, my dream collabs, Post Malone and Doja Cat. I love worldly music, so I listen to Arabic, I listen to Celtic music, I listen to classical, I listen to Indian music, I listen to Native American music. Sometimes we can describe love, sometimes we can describe hate, or just funny things, or bad things. This is music. It's beautiful because there's not a specific rule to do that. Just drop, drop, drop more music, a lot of music. You gotta really feed the fans. So I, I don't really have a formula, it's just, it's a feeling. Use your DJ brain and have like a clue of what they might like, what the insight, you have to have a little insight in how they might enjoy it. The work, it doesn't stop. Like you you have to be working all, all, all day, all day round. Like, yeah, and I think still. that the workload multiplies yeah. when you get like further in your career. I sort of just vibe off the beat, like whatever the beat sort of tells me what to do, I just do it, you know? Like say if it's a vibey beat, then I'll come in a vibey flow. If it's a mellow beat, I'll just do a mellow flow. Every day I will do like three pages of long handwriting, and if there's anything good in there, like in terms of lyrics, I'll transfer it to a secret Tumblr. <laughs> there are a lot of people who just wait on something to happen. Like it's a fucking lottery ticket, the life, you know? Just go outside and do your shit. I think the laziness is the only reason that I even uh, am at this music scene. I'll be making songs for maybe three weeks every day and I'll write loads of songs and then there'll be a month maybe that I can't write and that's okay. And I think that's rule number one is like not every day is going to be like a world changing day. Do you know what I mean? Like it's going to, you've got to live so that you can have experiences to write about, you know? Just get on the mic and see what happens. Or I'll have a concept that I've written in my journal throughout the week, something that I want to maybe try out, talk about. We, we, we gather, uh, I mean, we go to the studio and just uh, do something and see what happens. So the main thing, the main ingredient is, you know, honesty and uh, not drawing any, you know, imaginary lines. So we're just trying to do our best every time and then people will decide if they like it or not.
If I see anybody in one of these, I want to see a hundred stamps on that bitch, you feel me? That's so funny, do you know my whole career started with a cap? Finland invented this phone. You guys have some interesting traditions, I'll tell you that.